quite a hike today doing this old Descatties. Just come out for a little walk this morning with uh, Rosie. Got to keep on the lead. I'm kind of walking along a footpath and it's um, it's normally quite, you normally get a few dog walkers up here. So um, being the uh, sort of sensible dog walker I am and I know what my dog's like and I want to prevent Armageddon, I will keep her on the lead while I'm sort of, <laughs> while I'm sort of bimbling around here. Yeah. Uh, the weather's been a bit funny this week. I think since about Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve we had a real blazing kind of a real sunny, calm day. Um, Christmas Day was kind of you know sort of pretty the same as it is now. Really, it's really kind of calm. There's not much of a breeze there. We've not had rain for a few days, which is kind of a bit of a bit of a rare one. Um, but it really is quite chilled, really. I suppose so. I will. Um, I'm going to stop at some point and get my uh, brew kit out and just have a brew and, and I'll just uh, enjoy the ambience of the time while I'm out here. Alright, so uh, there's, the, uh, there's one of the lakes that I sometimes sort of walk past or come past here. Normally it's one of my running routes. It's quite beautiful, it's quite pretty actually, isn't it? It's quite nice I suppose. I want to try and get over to that side. There's, um, that, would, that, that place is a bit private, but I want to sort of go over there and just have a gander. See what's over there, really. You know, there's a bit of stealth camping over there or something like that. Well, there it is, folks. Alright, I'll check out in a little while. Thank you. Alright folks, so join me as I'm walking towards the, uh, the Thameside Reserve at Muckin. Um, <clears throat> I've just come in, come in here just for a little bolt walk. This is normally a bit of my, um, uh, part of my run, normally my run route. I normally run up here, do a turnaround point at the centre and then sort of end up sort of going home. It's about a six mile round trip I think for me to do this. And uh, I thought what I'll do is I'll just sort of take a video of the actual reserve. It's quite a new one really, it isn't actually that old. It was opened by David Attenborough some time ago. I'm not exactly sure, but it, you know, within it's in, you know within the years of a nature reserve, it's not actually that old. Um, you do get a lot of families and bird watchers and that kind of thing come here, as well as dog walkers and runners and the like, such as myself. And... Um, it's a series of footpaths that they've joined together um, and the one that I tend to use quite a lot or that I, that I seem to come to is this one here because it's pretty much on my doorstep really and it's kind of a nice sometimes I can come here for a nice early morning run and there's not many people here and even on a day like today it's pretty quiet even though there are some dog walkers and visitors to the centre I think if you can just see if I just point just above my finger, or well probably uh, probably about there. Oh no, 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 let's come over a bit more. Probably about there is the building of the uh, to the to the centre where you can go and have a cup of tea and all that sort of stuff. Now, even though you've got all these little sort of concretey kind of footpaths. Um, you've also got these wooden holes, if you like, with yellow and um, white paint markers on them, which are obviously quite handy for people if they're coming up here and pull visibilities. There's gates and it's well signposted as well, you know, to other areas. And it really is just like a nice sort of, it's nice really, it's, it's on my doorstep pretty much. Um,
all right there's no woods here but pff, still nice just to come outside and um, enjoy the view where it is um, we're quite on top of the estuary here as well so uh, because I've been on top of the estuary we've got a lot of seabirds here gulls being the obvious one and, and um, loads of different wading birds kestrels woodpeckers and even up there as well there was an old badger's uh, badger's uh, site as well but um, yeah it doesn't get us and then this time of year you obviously get it's nice for people to come out isn't it they've been sitting down eating loads of food and drinking loads and all the rest of it. it's nice just to come out and uh and sweep off those cobwebs as it were so uh, i want to continue along the path and make my way to the actual nature reserves in the centre so i'll catch up with you in a little while folks once i negotiate this negotiate the gate and then there's another footpath they also before I go as well they actually have cattle in here they must have taken a minute at the moment but they normally have um, they normally put cattle in the fields probably to uh, munch on the grass and the like Right, just walking up this incline now and this takes you up to the actual uh, nature reserve centre where you can get a nice cup of tea and they've got stuff in a little shop if you want to buy stuff to do with animals and wildlife and flora and fauna and all that sort of stuff and there's also a uh, sound like I'm doing a fucking tourist video doesn't it um, and there's also a bit of a playground there for the kids to let off steam and adults if they want as well I suppose what I'm going to do now though is I'm going to go up the roof I'm going to go up on the roof because there's a viewing point up there with a telescope so I'm going to take a bimbal up there and we can have a look out right so see you later take these so what happens now we're uh, I'm basically following this um on the walkway. That takes you up onto the roof. And uh, yeah, a bit smoky up here though, because they've got a, inside the place they've got a, a log stove. And, um, As you can see there, there's their chimney kicking out some smoke there. I reckon that wood's got a little bit of moisture in it myself, but there you go. Anyway, so there's one of the information bolts of some of the uh, birds that they see around here. I did actually see in the lake before, I see some grebes and that there. Now I see herons, barn owls, golden eyes, mallards, and the like. And um, yeah, so. Uh, so there it is folks, we're actually up on the roof now so we can get a quite a slightly better perspective of the uh, of what we're looking at and just over there, I mean it's a little bit foggy but just over there you can just make out the cranes from the super port and there's a telescope if you want to uh, have a gander through the telescope. Whee. And there's the actual estuary over there. And there's the actual nature reserve. I didn't want to get too close to it because there's people obviously members of the public there and I don't want to get into some sort of like you know about videoing them or videoing their kids or something like that so but there it is really that's the uh that's the nature reserve I'm just following a 
another different path now. This is part of my running route actually. And uh, there's two ways I normally come. I mean just over there. It's sort of like near where I sort of run along the seawall. And then this way is another option I take when I'm going another way. When I'm going on my run. This will just pick up the Thames path again. Now if you were to stay on this path and go back the way I come, which I will pick up on the video in a little while, it'll basically take you all the way to sort of Colehouse Fault, past Colehouse Fault, and if uh, you know subscribers and watchers to my channel um, will even take you past where myself, Barney and Andy from Kent Survival um, when we camped when we camped um, some time ago when we camped sort of October time or November wasn't it? it was November wasn't it so, uh, so yeah that path will take you all this way as far as it I think I'm not sure how far it goes the other way if you were to go towards sort of south end way I think that's a little bit of a mission for me I think I'm going to uh, investigate that one and go and do some um, nice little uh, follow some footpaths and head that way as well because um, it's nice that they've joined it up really because it allows for people in their locales to just get out a bit more I suppose and enjoy nature so, uh, <coughs> so yeah I'll just carry on now with the dog and see how I'll get on alright so uh, catch up with you in a little while folks hopefully So now I'm leaving the uh, Thames Park Nature Reserve. I don't know why they've put it on there. Because the park's actually behind me. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so now I'm uh, bimbling back down this path. I mean, the great thing about this is that you don't even need a map really. I mean, there is an app that you can get. That'll, um, that'll have detailed stuff about the route and stuff but you know it's, it's pretty much a metal path you can't sort of deviate up it so much and get lost or or anything like that and it's quite pushchair friendly as well I suppose um, yeah really pushchair down here now you'd probably get away with trainers as well I mean ideally it's good to put a child in a pair of wellies or even for an adult to wear a pair of wellies or a pair of sturdy footwear or whatever but I mean um, you'd get away with I mean I've run down here so normally I'm running in trainers so, you know, so it's, not that, it's, not, it's not that bad really um, this is where I found my um, giant puffball that time if you haven't seen that video go over and have a look at it if you wish it's basically giant puffballs and I found one of a suitable size and I basically um, dry fried it and had it for like my afternoon lunch there's a video on there showing you showing you that one a bit of a sparse woodland on my right and to my left where the uh, bulldozers and all that stay because they still quarry over there and we're just taking a path down to this metal road that joins up to the entrance to the quarry to one of the many quarries around this area yes yeah, so there's the metal road I've just crossed over I'm going to pick up the path here through the gate and then uh, I'll basically make my way back along kind of along there and, f and oh, follow it sort of all the way out that way and it will take me back towards the lake uh, the Golden Gates so yeah just to me right is the uh, is the Fenchurch Street line 
which will basically go between um, kind of, uh, well, the bit that I'm between right now, which would be Stamford Lee Open East Tilbury Station, and then it goes all the way on to Fenchurch Street. Anyway, yeah, so uh, oh, still gallivanting along this path. Normally along now, that tree there is a plum tree, and I normally uh, in the summer to get a good harvest off that, get a shitload of plums off it and there's also uh, a lot of brambles here as well get some nice blackberries off it, off the uh, bushes in the uh, summer see we're back at the lake birds are a little bit more active than they were this morning when we walked past quite a lot of bird watchers down here um, with all their nice telescopic paraphernalia and stuff taking pictures of their birds unfortunately I've only got the GoPro and these are uh, obviously there's no focus on it so I can't really pick up any sort of I mean when I first come in it down here this morning there was a couple of grebes that I see and then there's plenty of other birds, skulls, ducks and the like and right in the distance you can hear all the rooks that have the uh, treetops over the other side of the lake sort of over there that's the spot I want to go and have a look at some point Sneak in there and have a look. See what's in there. So yeah, I think what I might do is uh, I might stop here and have a. Do I stop here or shall I stop further up? Hmm. Choices, choices, decisions, decisions. We'll see.
it actually stops running Pronto Kappa. Um, I'm still going to continue along that path, but what I've done is uh, I've come off the path, there's a little bit of a bank here that's sheltered me, and um, I'm just getting a brew on really to have a cup of tea, or a cup of coffee even. And uh, then we'll continue on our little uh, our little, fork for, uh, our little walk. Can't believe how calm it is today, weather wise, right now. Tell you what, you can probably hear the dog, but literally just in front of me, I, I saw this little stem go, and then all of a sudden a squirrel just sort of like within sort of six feet of us just went trapsing over there, like trampling over there. And I don't know if you can hear the dog, but I mean, how the fuck she didn't pull my rucksack out from under me and chase that squirrel, I'll never know. But she did, and it's like those little rare moments in it when you're just sitting out. So just chilling, making hardly any noise at all, or no noise at all in, in my case. And then something like that happens. I'm kind of quite priceless, I know it's only a squirrel, but it's still, you know, to get them that close to you. And to look at them like that rather than behind the scope of a rifle, for example. Or even for a set of binoculars is quite a, 
makes a nice change I suppose. So I've just had my spot of lunch and uh, going, continuing along the path now. As I say, I mean, especially over this side, it's very, uh, you know, push chair friendly and all that sort of stuff. I'm not sure whether it takes the, uh, the true part of the nature away from it, leaving it as a muddy path as opposed to as opposed to this kind of hard track but I suppose it encourages more people more families and stuff like that and people like that to actually get out a little bit more because not everyone wants to get muddy and all the rest of it and enjoys nature so it's nice just to uh, you know I suppose with it not being a muddy path it encourages more folks to come out and do a little bit more in the outdoors I suppose as a family So yeah, I mean all that over there is all the quarry, that's all quarry land there. And eventually, eventually that will become kind of part of the nature reserve as well. But until then there's still quarrying there for, for whatever reason. 
And then, uh, do apologise, folks, if parts of this video are a little bit boring, but um, you know, I suppose that's what walking is sometimes a bit boring, and it can be a little bit boring. There's not really a lot going on, really. Uh, hmm. Right folks, this is where I'll get off, this is where I'm um, heading off home now, so um, thanks for watching this video, um, please leave a comment, maybe hit the thumbs up button, any suggestions, deeply appreciated, if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so, um, and I hope you enjoyed that video, probably boring in places, but I suppose I'm walking, and um, I just throw little bits and pieces in there, just to sort of break it up a little bit. So uh, thanks for watching folks, take care and Happy New Year and all the best and hopefully catch up with you in 2019 for some more uh, shenanigans and stuff with uh, Des Catties and uh, all that. So uh, cheers folks, take care, all the best.